Howdy. My name is Roy Ramey. Welcome back to the Minuteman Farmer. We're at the uh, beginning of our series on wild edible forage hike. And we're looking at some common plants. We haven't went very far from where we did our introduction. We're not 20 feet away and we have found one of our first plants, one of the most common plants that you find across the country or maybe even the world, and that is the common dandelion. And uh, we have found it here in our uh, sidewalk. You can find this anywhere out in the country or in a suburban yard or even in a city sidewalk. And, uh, and we have left this here. Uh, as, it's, as it's spring, we haven't got everything cleaned up yet. And, uh, and this is a nice bunch of greens, isn't mm -hmm. it, Doug? Yeah, boy. Yum, yum. So <clears throat> what we don't have on here is the flowers. Uh, that'll come a little bit later. We've actually got a few out here that do have the flowers uh, and the roots. But what we're interested in right now is the greens. Mm -hmm. And uh, these greens can be eaten fresh, uh, either uh, just raw in a salad, or they can be fried up in mixed greens. And they're high in potassium, right? Very nice. And uh, they've got they've got a lot of nutrients and vitamins that we want to uh, put in our body, and so right now we're going to harvest uh, some of these fresh greens so that we can take those in. And uh, Doug is just using his uh, his handy little trowel there that we talked about, and uh, get some of those greens off. And they're real easy to cut. Mm -hmm. You can use that like a, like a mescaline lettuce or or any other various mm -hmm. uh, greens that you're putting in your salad. And later we're going to show some more of how we can use other parts of it, uh, such as the roots and the florets. Uh, but right now uh, it's spring and we're looking for greens. So uh, another green that we've recently found, and not ten feet away, is uh, dock. And we've also found that here in our sidewalk growing up next to the garage. And this is a nice big lush one. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is also full of nutrients. And we want to put that in a fried green mix. You can use it in salads. Uh, one warning is, it's not so much of a warning, but if you let it get really big, uh, it gets a little bitter. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite so tasty for uh, eating raw. But if you... Uh, put this in fried greens we really like it fried either in bacon grease or lard or butter and uh, mix it in with a few other greens you want to give us a, a little batch of that there mm -hmm. now dock can also be used uh, uh, for its roots but uh, we're not concerned with that today we'll get that in a later episode and there's there's uh, two uh, right here next to our garage, and we haven't even wandered into the driveway, let alone way out in the yard where we have a whole lot of others. So stay tuned with us, and we'll get you a few more.